though I have very limited experiences with people, I feel like I'm the only person I've met who was not afraid of the show Courage the Cowardly Dog growing up. Everybody in my class mentioned that that show gave them nightmares. I always found it interesting. I was kind of sucked into it, and I liked this creepiness that it had going on. I liked the different styles of animation, because they had the early 2000s CGI going on, and I wonder if that was a show that gave me an appreciation for it, because I do have a bit of a soft spot for ver very early CG, specifically 90s, early 2000s. I liked catching movie mistakes. I liked trying to figure out how things worked. Courage the Cowardly Dog has a very distinctly German fairy tale feeling to it. And if you know anything about German fairy tales, it's that they're dark and they're twisted. I don't think Courage was ever super gory or anything. No, next time I really should do a rewatch video of that. Oh, for those of you stumbling upon this and you've never heard of the show, a, a little dog in living with an old couple in the middle of nowhere constantly has to defend his family from all these terrifying monsters. And they all have this very real world creepiness to it because there is one, I remember Freaky Fred, who's obsessed with shaving courage, which very much plays like a, that he's a rapist. There was another, there's a domestic abuser in the form of an anthropomorphic dog. And the battered victim who wears this mask and is venting her frustrations and anger with the, this family. So Courage has to get her away from him. And there is another one who I'm pretty sure was supposed to be a serial killer. I've heard that about cats, but I also got that impression of Dr. LeQuack, too. I thought Dr. LeQuack was the craziest one because at the end with him, even if he was locked up, the next time you see him, the building was on fire and he'd have escaped. Could you get really dog would have made an excellent horror film. A full-length horror film. I could honestly see that. Because it has very much this Halloween, Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street feel to it. Now that I've watched more horror movies, it also has this surreal weirdness going on. But there was still this heart to it. There was still this charm. You had Courage, who you could root for. You had Muriel, the sweet old lady. I never liked Eustace very much. The mean old man who always scared Courage. But he... If I remember correctly, he usually, if not always, got his comeuppance. Like when he steals the Egyptian slab, I know that's become a meme. Return the slab. Which, by the way, that is some delightful early 2000 CG. Oh. That's incredible. I found the, it was a really, really creative show. And I remember the one episode that I personally really liked I believe it's the final episode uh, where Courage suffers from perfectionism. He's beating himself up over his failures. And the, this mean old woman who the others can't see starts beating him and tormenting him for not being perfect. But then he learns there's no such thing as perfect. I thought there were still some good messages in there. Like the fact that, you know, he is, he's not a brave dog. He's very, he's... He's afraid, but he still goes into fight. He still defends his family, and that is courage. He lives up to his name. I'm sure everyone... I'm sure people watching this knew that, but still, it's heartwarming. I wonder... Is that sure made nowadays? Because I know nowadays we really like continuity in our storytelling. I wonder if they would ever go into what happened to his family, because I know... His parents are out there, and they are seen in the end of one episode with all these. I think they were on Mars. They were sent away somewhere. One of the villains gets sent to this, to where he abandoned all these animals, who now take their glorified, their very much-needed vengeance. Which was interesting. Also, I found the designs really interesting. I thought this was... It was a really interesting show design-wise because a lot of the characters had these very exaggerated features and they had very strong silhouettes. 
very angular, very pointed, and really striking. Every a lot of the characters have this very striking presence to them. So I'd say if you're looking for something horrifying, I think this show can scare has the scares that people are looking for this Halloween season. That's it, that's a perfect one to revisit.